What if Goku was Zeno's son? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 3? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku Was Zeno's Son, we mentioned that Goku has now went and continued to train with Dai Chicken for the next 13 years, as he has now grown to a 13 year old boy and he was still doing everything he can to utilize his omni power and his manners. With that, Dai Chicken and Zeno want to test Goku's power, so they hold a tournament with two destroyers who are Vermont and Beerus to go and fight with Goku. Goku seemed to make sports out of both of them. But despite the fact that Beerus went and used his Ultra Instinct power, Goku was still far stronger than him, as Goku managed to go and beat Beerus and with that, Goku then got a challenge to fight with an angel who is Vados nevertheless. Goku and Vados battle begun, as Goku wasn't able to see Vados power coming but from there he decided to go and use his transformation as he transformed to his Super Saiyan Rose Omni power. With his Omni Rose power, Goku managed to keep up with Vados, but just when he felt that he was actually in a good place when it comes to power, Vados went and used more power and one shot Goku. As Goku decided to do everything he can to continue training with Dai Shinken and get stronger, and as you know it, another 7 years has passed and Goku has now become a full fledged adult. And with that, they continued to spar with one another, but Dai Shinken got the news that the Super Dragon Balls, along with the other Dragon Balls on Universe 7, are gone missing. Find out what happened. What if Goku was Zeno's son? Part 3 What do you mean that Dragon Balls are gone? Unfortunately that is true. I cannot see it at all and there isn't any sign of them. What do you think can happen? I don't know but I'm going to go to Universe 7 and investigate this matter with Whis since he is the angel for that universe. Goku, there's something I want to talk to you about. Yes, what is it, father? What's up? Look, Goku, while you were just born, your home planet was called Planet Vegeta. And that is where your mother was from, but that planet got destroyed by this tyrant named Frieza. Frieza, huh? I see. Wait, if that's, if that's my planet, that means... Yes, Goku, your mother was immortal and she was killed by him too. I'll let you do whatever you want when it comes to him. Well, I'm gonna go to Universe 7. If you wanna come with me, Goku, why don't you come along and we can figure out what's going on. Okay, sounds good! As Goku left with Dai Shigen to Universe 7, and they have now arrived to Beerus' world. Once when they got there, Whis came out as he was honored on seeing Goku for the very first time and said, It is my honor to finally meet you, Lord Omni King's son. <laughs> Please, just call me Goku! Well, Whis, I'm guessing you're aware of what's happening inside this universe, right? As Dai Shiken went and he told Whis everything that happened with the Dragon Ball. Upon hearing the disappearance of the Dragon Balls got Whis to be really shocked and from there Goku looked towards him and said, Where is the destroyer for this universe? How did he allow this to happen under his watch? Unfortunately, he's a lazy destroyer. All he likes to do is sleep and he's sleeping right now as we speak. Well, first things first, we should go to Planet Namek. They might know something that happened since they were the one who made the Dragon Balls too. With that, they all went and made the way towards Planet Namek. Once when they have arrived, from there Dai Shiken went and he spoke with the guardian of that planet named Guru, who after told Dai Shiken that he has no idea what happened and all they saw was three men came to the planet and they managed to go and summon the Dragon Balls with the tip of their finger and from there, the Dragon Balls disappeared in plain sight along with them as they left with the Dragon Ball. While that was happening, few hours back at the remote planet, Fu came towards Cumber and said, it is now time for you to go and have your opportunity to kill Goku Cumber. Also, I hear Dai Shigen's there too. You think you're strong enough to do so? Of course I am. Where is Heart? He won't be joining you. He's busy with other Saiyans. This is your time to shine. Whatever. I'll enjoy any them. As we come right back to Planet Namek where Goku and everyone were talking but from there, they sense a huge power has arrived 
to the planet as they saw a huge light of shine happening from there. While Goku was curious to see what is going on and he told Dai Shaken to go on ahead, he's gonna go check what's going on. As Dai Shaken and Whis has left making their way towards planet Earth to talk to Kami about his Dragon Ball. With that, Goku went towards the light and he saw it was a Saiyan warrior known Cumber. I am the Great Cumber. My one mission is to end your life. I see you have no idea who I am. I don't care who you are. My mission is to end the Omni King's son's life. And also the Omni King. What did you say? You want to kill my father, huh? Father? As Goku came instantly right next to Cumber and he striked him in his face, getting to be sent flying towards the water. Cumber then got right back up and he saw that Goku rushed at him and he started to attack him. Seeing that he was being overwhelmed by Goku's power, Cumber smiled and said, It is a good thing I have come long prepared before you know it. I would have died here, but thanks to this power, I'm gonna use it to end your life and the rest of the Omni King if they exist. Cumber has now used a power which rivals the god and said, what do you think about this power? It is all thanks to the Super Dragon Balls, you can say. I was able to get that universe seed fused with my own power. <laughs> That's impressive, but I'm not worried at all one bit. As Goku saw Cumber King right next to him and he dead Goku in the face, Goku was surprised to see that he wasn't able to counter strike it, and with that Goku went and he powered up his key as he rushed right towards Cumber and both of them started to attack each other non-stop. <laughs> As their power kept clashing with each other back and forth, Goku was able to go and throw in some punches while Cumber was able to hold him off and threw a few hits himself. Goku then smiled and said, You know, one thing had got me to start wondering what you said. You said that you're in a mission to kill the Omni King and the others. Well, what do you mean by the others? And are there more of you watching us? Since you said you had came here prepared, I take it you've been watching me the entire time. You and the Omni King, yes. We have been studying your power. All I'm here to end your life once and for all. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. Now, let me show you my power. Goku has gone and transformed into his Omni Super Saiyan Rose. As Cumber was shocked to seeing Goku's new power while Goku smiled and said, This is just tip of the iceberg when it comes to my power. Now let's see what he can do, Cumber. While that was happening, Whis and Dai Shinken made their way towards planet Earth. As they went and talked to Kami about the missing Dragon Balls and Kami also gave him the same answer what Guru told him. How three mysterious people had come to his planet and they stole the Dragon Balls and somehow he has been unlinked to the dragon but they're still alive. Looks like the universe or actually the multiverse could be in trouble since there's no eternal dragon left now. And the super dragon was nowhere to be found. We must find out what's going on Whis. Well, father, there is one way how we can find out what happened to the Super Dragon Balls. I just thought exactly about the same idea as you, Whis. Let's go make our way towards Zuno. We might get our answer from him. Back on planet Namek, Goku has just used his Omni Super Saiyan Rose power. As Cumber went and he tried right towards Goku, and he begun to hit him with everything he's got. But Goku, on the other hand, was far faster than Cumber. As you can see, each of every Cumber's hit and swing, and with that, he was able to counter it. As Goku went and caught his fist and he twisted it, resulting in Cumber breaking his arm and said, I want to see what you can do, Cumber, or are you ready to die right here? Don't act so tough, you're still weak! Before he can do anything, Goku went and kicked him, getting him high sent in the air, and with that, Goku rushed at him as he started to attack him at his vital spot, while Cumber was spinning out blood, and with that, Goku went and he powered up a one-hand blast and he aimed it right towards Cumber as the blast hit him head on and that blast was strong enough to kill him. Goku went right back to his base as he didn't even break his sweat but from there Goku went and he teleported to where Dai Shinken and Whis were as he could tell that they are at Zuno's place and once when he got there he saw that Dai Shinken went and he asked Zuno about the missing Super Dragon Balls. Zuno then looked towards him and replied, 
it would appear that all of them has merged into one dragon. And as far as the Super Dragon Balls, you can say it has been killed. What? The Super Dragon has been killed? What do you mean killed? Which monster can do such thing? I'm sorry, Grand Priest. I can only answer one question per day. That's my power. And I'm also sorry too, Omni King's son. Forgive me for not able to answer the question. This is not good. Having a Super Dragon Balls be killed is a huge mess for the multiverse. Which monster can do that? Back at the remote planet, Zeno the Third was sitting there smiling as he looked towards Fu and Hart and said, We finally did it guys. We managed to go and fuse all the dragon into one and now he is ready to fight us. Tell me your name. My name is Shenron. Oh, so you're keeping the same name as the Earth's dragon, I see. And how powerful are you guys? We'll do whatever it takes to do what you want us to do. Tell us your mission. I want you guys to end Goku's life and then Zeno's life. As you wish, Master. You are the Omni King and will fulfill it as you want. Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born As Zeno's Son. Make sure you click the bell, my Z fans, so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become one of the first Z fighters.